one event to stop the nation is the Melbourne Cup, and with over 80,000 in attendance, Flemington Racecourse is bulging at the seams, while around the country, all other activity grinds to a halt. General Command leads the way and shares equal top weight with 1968 winner Rain Lover. Giant New Zealand glamour horse Ben Lomond is well fancied. So too the five-year-old gelding for Lure, another proven stayer. But with Big Falou withdrawn just prior to the race, Tails is the horse that's all the rage. Here's Bert Bryant to call the two-miler. Light flashing track has cleared, they're all set, and they're off and running in the Melbourne Cup, and a great even start too, so down near the inside, all soft the first to move out from Falou. Rain Lover got away with a great burst of speed, and so too did Sir Kinsman, who's showing an electrifying burst of speed in the first 70 or 80 yards to go to the front, and further out on the track, moving up quickly into a more prominent position, is Ben Lohman from New Zealand, as they start to link up with a course proper down past the two and a half furlongs pole, Sir Kinsman on the inside here, moving up as Devil Boy in the centre, going fast as a sharper four out from the fence is Ben Lomond over on the inside is Rain Lover trying to get up on the inside there of Fleur. They're followed by Galleon King moving up around the outside of Napur, getting up into a beautiful position then is Nasori on the outside of Tails who's tucked away on the fence a length and a half further back is General Command Swift General. A stound will back in the field then is River de Burr and Double Steel dropped out to last. Big money coming up down the side, four and a half to go. It's a packing field in the cup and the leader, Sir Kinsman, about three parts of a length in front of Rain Lover and Fleur. They've both grabbed this leader, three across the track, two lengths to Wizcan moving up. General Command on the fence. Coming around the home turn now, two and a half furlongs to go. And shades of 1968, Rain Lover dash to the front. Coming down towards the two and the crowd roared, Rain Lover in front. Olsop is moving up on the outside the challenge and they're followed closely then by Swift General Fleur. In behind them, Tails now pulled out and he's coming home reasonably well only. Olsop moved up on the outside to tackle Rain Lover. They're clear of Tails who can't win, he can't stay. A half furlong left to go. Olsop and Rain Lover. Rain Lover and Olsop. They're going head and head. Rain Lover on the inside. Rain Lover's got his neck in front and won by a neck. Second Olsop, third Ben Lohman, fourth Lock Court. Rain Lover wins his second successive Melbourne Cup and is only the second horse to do so. Archer having won in the first and second Melbourne Cups in 1861 and 62. Governor General Sir Paul Hasluck makes the 109th presentation of the Gold Cup to South Australian owner breeder Mr. Cliff Reed. Rain Lover was trained by Mick Robbins, who has held a trainer's license for just two years. For jockey Jim Johnson, it's his third cup as Rain Lover becomes one of the greats of Australian turf history.